we're here to talk about the match between the Fijian and Drua and the Highlanders. Uh, we're going to play that match here at ANZ Stadium uh, on, uh, on April the 30th and uh, everybody is very much looking forward, particularly the team, to playing before a home crowd. Um, I'm happy to answer questions about the team separately later on, but you know we've, we've had a great start to the season, four rounds in. We're playing the Western Force tomorrow. Um, uh, I can guarantee you that the boys will be putting their very best effort out in the park, and I'm personally optimistic that we'll get our second win. Touch wood. Um, but in terms of the, the tickets, we think this is a blockbuster game. The Highlanders are well known. They've played games here previously. Uh, and you know those Super Rugby games in the past have pretty much all been sellouts at the stadium, um, but they've never featured a Fijian team. So this match, you know, really heralds a, a new and momentous occasion in the history of the Fijian and Drua, and for that matter, the country. Um, next year, we will be bringing many, many more home games to Fiji. Um, we had to play a lot in Australia this year because of the COVID and the travel borders and basing the team. Uh, at Lennox Head, but next year we already know that we will be uh, hosting uh, the Crusaders, the Blues, uh, the Reds and the Hurricanes. Uh, those four teams will definitely be home games for us and the other home games will be against a combination of the, the Reds, the, sorry, the Waratahs, the, um, the Rebels, the Western Force and possibly Moana Pacifica. Um, the tickets will go on sale on Monday. Um, We've got four categories of tickets uh, to sell um, platinum, gold, silver and bronze. Uh, almost half of the available tickets are in the very affordable bronze category of $30 um, for adults and $15 for children under, under 12. Uh, so the, the, the grass embankments on either end will be that, that bronze category. Silver tickets will be in the, um, in, on the concrete embankment and priced at $75. And in the grandstand, there'll be gold tickets and platinum tickets. The platinum tickets will largely be used for sponsors and VIPs, so there won't be many available to sell. But the gold tickets will be available and, and we'll have alcohol and non-alcohol zones at $150. Um, tickets will be available at the Fiji Sports Council offices, uh, at uh, Fiji Rugby offices, and We've entered into an agreement, which we're about to sign, to make tickets available throughout, I think, 51 of the post Fiji offices. Um, the logistics of that will involve the person getting a receipt uh, for, those, for the tickets that they purchased through post Fiji, and they can bring that receipt to Fiji Sports Council before the match, or on match day, we'll have marquees where receipts are provided and tickets uh, for entry are, are given. Um, We've worked on designing a match day experience like no other. Um, the previous Super Rugby games have been fantastic under Litiana's uh, stewardship, um, but uh, we'll, we'll try and take it a little bit further. Um, and uh, we're, we've got a lot of plans in place which we'll progressively disclose. Um, in setting our prices, you always take into account a number of, a number of factors. And, uh, one of those we've drawn on is the experience with those Super Rugby games before. These tickets are in, in the main um, cheaper at the gold end and around about the same, uh, or perhaps a little bit more on the concrete side than previously. But we, uh, we've also been you know, conscious to make sure that there are plenty of tickets that are affordable and available to, to everyday Fijians. Um, we will be making a lot of distributions of tickets directly to stakeholders such as sponsors, licensees, broadcasters. Um, Fiji Rugby uh, Provincial Unions uh, will all receive an allocation of tickets so that those people who are close to the game will get access to tickets uh, from us. Um, and then the, the tickets we make available to the public, uh, as I say, will be sold through um, Fiji Sports Council or through Post Fiji. Um, we think that they're going to be in hot demand. I'm absolutely convinced that we'll get a full a sellout, and I don't think we'll get a sellout on the morning or in the week of the game. I think we'll get a sellout weeks before the game. So I would just encourage people to get in early, get in quickly to make sure you grab the tickets and you want and you're able to see the uh, game. Um, lastly, I'll just say that we've got also got a, a range of, of excellent corporate hospitality products for the for the business community. Uh, we've got a limited number of corporate suites 
uh, at the ground. We've got uh, a very big function we're planning for FMF Arena, where I think we've got 750 uh, spaces and tickets for corporates who want to have a, an entertaining match day experience for their clients. Um, and, uh, and we're also building a very unique and innovative structure for our sponsors. Uh, on, on the, uh, in the TV arc above the concrete grandstand, we're going to have a, a, a thatched bureau style pavilion, uh, and that will send a wonderful uh, uh, message to those people overseas, telling them, telling the, uh, the story of, of you know, the, the relaxed Fijian style and, uh, and, and presenting our, our, our match in the best possible light.